Field, or I mean, I'm sorry, Kaylin Casey, and I'm your theme park reviewer. Today is the last day that the uh, attraction known as Dueling Dragons or Dragon Challenge is going to be open. So today I'm going to go over to Universal and see this ride off. Let's go. Once again, back here. Unfortunately, it looks like it's going to rain, so I brought my sweater just in case when I drove over here. And no, I'm not going to be st standing on a damn escalator. <gasps> it doesn't look like it's going to be permitting. Hopefully, the ride is still open because it's around 5.30. I wanted to get here closer to close so that just in case, if it does rain and they open it up maybe, maybe around 6.30ish or so, there is still time to jump on the attraction on both sides. I won't be able to record it because I don't have an actual GoPro cam on me. And also at the same time, you're not allowed to record on these rides. And that's why they have metal detectors. But oh my gosh. Please, please, this is the last day. Doing one more, one more day. Well, today's the last day really, but still. <laughs> more people leaving islands than going to islands. But I'm pretty sure a lot of coaster fans like myself are going to islands so we can get this last ride on a dueling B&M coaster. One of the only over here in America. One of the only one. I think they're supposed to be two, and this is one of them. So, luckily, roller coaster. Here we go. One last ride on Dueling Dragons. And it's not busy too, so this is perfect. I like this. I think I'm just gonna go straight to the attraction though. I gotta, I gotta do this one, this one ride. It's gotta be done. You, you know, this is a this is an island, you know, natural. Just got off the hall, and it just shut down because of the rain that's about to come, which is crazy. I can't believe that, but I, I can't believe I got the last try before the rain started. Hopefully, the you know, rain won't be too long, and I get the chance to go on dueling dragons one last time. Ooh, really, I'm really hoping for it most of my islands of adventure is that majority of the good attractions are outdoors and because of that a lot of those attractions have to close down like Dudley Do Right, um, Jurassic Park sometimes and of course mainly the roller coasters because they're steel. So in all cases half the park shuts down and there's not much rides to do so the rides that are indoors have even longer waits because people want to still be able to get rides in and thus longer waits. Not fun. So that's why right now it's about 6.21. I'm gonna see if I can get a ride into uh, Dilling Dragons. I'm gonna go into the line and just wait it out. Just for the heck of it. As I said, this is the last time this place is gonna be open. Look how large the group is. Nobody's gonna say no to this. Yeah, holy snap, crackle, and pop. But I wanted to do this right now. So basically, I wanted to tell you my story within that last ride. So here's the thing. I did the last ride, and I wish I got some more footage, you know, going to ride more and more times because it was around 6.30. Unfortunately, because it was raining and because of the right weather, I was stuck in a line. I had full dedication. They said, you know, they probably were going to run the ride. And the line was moving as we were in the ride. Uh, and I was in the line, the queue area. For the ride so I was like okay maybe the ride is working again this is good then somewhere along the line they said we're not gonna run the ride it's it's just raining too bad it's there's no possibility we're gonna run it if it's past seven and there's gonna be a certain part in the creek queue where we're gonna start thinking people out which is very funny because I was I was I was looking where I was and I was pretty close to where the the station is and I was like for sure I'm not gonna get cut I'm just gonna stick it out no matter what I have patience I'm gonna stick it out because this is the last time I'm gonna ride doing dragons so when it got straight to the end, they're like, a few people were like, I want to do the last ride. I want to be on the last coaster to this. But in all general, it wasn't really the last coaster. Actually, it was the last ride for general guests. And then there was a VIP experience for a group and a few other people that actually paid more money to stay on the ride for a little bit more longer till I guess eight or nine o'clock or 10 o'clock. Uh, whether the matter is, VIP people got the last ride in whether uh rather than actually us us regular people us regular uh riders regular people that visit the park we got the last ride apart from that i enjoyed the whole entire experience it is very sad, somber very sad that it, we may not even we're not going to see this ride ever again this was a once in a lifetime deal for universal especially 
here in the Eastern Hemisphere, it's very rare that we get dueling coasters. They're, they're considered to be somewhat dangerous. And in this case, Dragon Challenge was fun having you. And I'm going to get back to that video I had earlier. I just wanted to do another thing for you guys. Actually, I wanted to tell you more about what happened on the outside of the line. So, one funny thing is there actually was a lot of people, a lot of YouTubers out there. Unfortunately, I didn't get to meet some of them. For instance, uh, Tim Tracker was one of the few people who actually got on the ride when I was actually waiting in line for it. So, he was literally closer to the front, saw a couple of rides go by, and then thunderstorm happened again. Well, the lightning struck in the area once more, and they finally closed down the ride for, for good. Now, people that were out, we were, when I was in the line, they told us the people that's outside or people that's more closer to the outside uh, queue area are going to be pushed away. They're going to go back to where they're supposed to go because the park closes at 7. So the people that were already deep into the line that was more closer to the end, they said, screw it. If they're going to wait here, let them wait here. We're going we're gonna to wait. We're going to wait the uh, line out. We're going to wait the uh, rain out until uh, the rain goes by because I know a lot of people that are waiting here really want to ride this ride and this is the last time they ever get to ride the ride because unlike hulk and whatsoever this is the last time they ever ride an attraction like this and the sad part is when you're there in line especially how i was after seven uh you know that you're only going to get one ride out of it so you've got to choose your favorite side and technically my favorite side is red but i went with the more intense because i don't really go to the i don't really go to universal all that much but i just wanted to take this moment to actually talk about the people I actually and I did kind of pass by but I never got to really get the chance to say hi and what's up and um how you doing so basically when I got off the ride a lot of a lot of people were out there matter of fact there was Brandon Bloggs I want to give a shout out to Brandon Bloggs hopefully you see this video I am going to put this on your show I'm going to put this on your Instagram because I want to show you I saw you but I wish I could have got, got to say hi because I saw when you did that group pick that was pretty cool sucks that I didn't get to go ahead and say I'm a fellow YouTuber too. I need some pointers. Please help me. Uh, another one was Tim Tracker. Tim Tracker was a guy I really wanted to see because I knew he was going to be there for the final day. He was there for the final day for uh, Ellen's at Universe of Energy. Unfortunately, I worked that day, but this was the day where I was like, Tim Tracker, I'm going to see him. And it's unfortunate that he was already in the line. And by the time he came out, it was around 7 o'clock. And was the time they actually did the closing ceremony and said, well, screw it. Weather is not permitting. We know the park is going to be closed, and we're not going to let anybody more, uh, any more people in. So he didn't really get the initial true last ride. So I just want to go ahead and tell the Tim Tracker and anybody that was actually waiting for the VIP event right after 7. We, the people who are waiting in line after 7, were the last one, the last regular guest to get that uh last ride and it was wonderful it was great it was beautiful i think it was one of the most tear-jerking moments of my life and it, it's really weird for me to say that but it's an end of air so it's really cool to see that most of these youtubers are out there and hopefully there will be a day where i end up you know bumping into you know my favorite youtuber like tim tracker once again seeing brandon blocks when the new attraction opens up i'm pretty sure i'll be there opening day that's for sure so i'm gonna leave that in here for you guys Last ride on Dragon Challenge. So sad, but so beautiful to be on the ride for one more last time. We're gonna miss you for a very long time. Please don't ruin this Universal. Please. I should get that Oh, VIP's riding. <laughs> but the VIPs are riding now. But for us, the ride is completely closed. As a normal ride goer, as a normal park goer, I'm Taylor Keezy. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had fun. I hope you did too.